Still a nation, according to Yatesy, my mate Field Yatesy. As training camp inch is closer, the Steelers tried out five players who played in the USFL this year. We have Doug Coston, Freedom Akin Moladun, I think, uh, Dominic Davis, Do Dondre Tillman, Willie Yarbarry. Guys, the Steelers have tried out these five players because we do know that uh, Archie Bong retired, I think, about a few days ago. And no one really knows that Daniel Archibong, he was a de defensive uh, tackle, defensive end uh, behind, you know, Cameron Haywood, Alulu, those guys. He was the depth piece. The Steelers have 89 people on their roster. So they've tried out five players um, from the USFL. And if you didn't get the, get the catch of the USFL, it was quite fun, actually. I, I enjoyed uh, watching the championship game uh, with the Stallions one. And I enjoyed watching a few games here and there along the season. It was kind of fun. Uh, the fellas went out there and played as hard as they could. And they were trying to earn a spot like this with the tryouts, according to Yatesy, that these players are, are trying to once again play in the NFL and go and get the big contract, right? But let's go through, like, I don't know these guys from a bar of soap, but let's go through some of their stats and where they come from, what teams they're, on, uh, what teams they're from. And it's still, it's still interesting to me that, yeah, we have five players trying out and what better way to improve the, the D-line like last year was just a, a colossal failure. So let's 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 look at uh, these five players in in order. So we have firstly we have Doug Coston from Birmingham Stallions. Now if we go to Doug's like profile, he was from uh, Miami uh, Ohio, sorry Miami College, and he played with Jacksonville. He, uh, he played with Jacksonville for two years. He started in nine games. He had twenty tackles, uh, sorry thirty two tackles in total for Jacksonville. But with Birmingham. He played only sparingly. He had four solo tackles, five assists, and nine in total, and half a sack. So that's interesting. Uh, defensive tackle here, six foot two, weight, you know, a young kind of guy. He could fit in if he does make the team. These players haven't been signed yet. They've just been trying out. Let's move on to the next guy. This guy, I like his name already, man. I love his name. Freedom Akin Moladun, right? So Philadelphia Stars. Uh, let's look into his six foot three defensive tackle. So he could play behind. Alulu as well and, and those players and maybe, you know, be that like the depth guy, help out uh, if Wormley's in there behind him too. So defensive tackle or even, you know, uh, behind Alulu. So let's look at Freedom's stats. Uh, played for the Philadelphia Stars, but he has a bit of NFL history. So I look into the, the football database is what I'm using. And he played for Nebraska in college. He played for quite a few NFL teams. Uh, Cincinnati, it says here in 2019, he went to the Giants and back to Cincinnati. And then, then to Tennessee and then to the Jets. So he's been a journeyman his whole career in the NFL from Nebraska to Cincinnati, New York, New York Giants, Tennessee, uh, New York Jets. So in total for his like NFL career, I think his NFL career the whole time he's been playing, uh, he only has three solo tackles, one assist and, and four tackles in total. So, you know, he's the kind of guy that's always going to be on the, the fourth or fifth string and, and always on the practice squad, but still give him a chance, right? And he played for Philadelphia Stars. He had 23 tackles in total in, in the USFL and 3.5 sacks. But let's move on to the next guy. We have uh, Dominic Davis. Houston Gamblers on 52 defensive tackle. They're all defensive tackles because I think we are missing that, that depth there and Archie Bong's gone, gone away. So six foot three. All right, Do Dominic uh, Davis, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And he played for North Carolina. I have no idea what this, what this league is. He played in 2020 for the Jousters and TSL and never heard of TSL. Not too sure what that is. But he played for uh, Houston Gamblers in the USFL. And he had quite a big quite a big career or a big year or a big first year for the USFL coming back. He had 24 solo tackles. He had 30 assisted and 54, totals in, in, in 54 tackles in total. Uh, four sacks. So that was in his USFL career. So... He's kind of a guy that, uh, out of all the stat, out of all the stats so far, he's been the one that's been most, you know, pro proactive and productive on on the on the stat sheet. So, man, he must have he must have started pretty much every game. So he might have a big shot to fill in that role for Archie Bong or fill in that role for defensive, uh, you know, tackle behind him the, the depth. Let's move into the last two plays. We have uh, Dondre Tillman, so Birmingham Stallion. So he was he was a victor, like his other mate too. He was a victor. Um, he won the USFL championship, but let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. So looking at his stats too, played in, played in college in, in, in Indiana, 
Uh, I've got to figure out what this TSL is. If anyone knows what a league in the NFL is called TSL, he played for the Conquerors in 2021. Not too sure what TSL is. So I have no idea. Birmingham, USFL, he had similar kind of stats to the other bloke I just mentioned, right? 22 solo, 14 assists, 36 tackles, and 2.5 sacks. So, so for, Bormi for Birmingham. So there's another guy that if he can, you know, have a good workout and provide that he can be quality depth behind behind our D-line and help help the team out, he might have a chance to start the 90 and he may have a chance in training camp that Tillman could could push, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, push the competitive boundary and say, well, look at me, I want to be the 53. But that's a long shot, but these are all long shots, right? Our last guy is Willie Yarbarry. So he also played for the Stallions. So hey, there you go. The, the Pittsburgh Steelers are looking at the Stallions and look at three Stallions players because they, they won the USFL championship. So there's a chance that three of these players might make the roster and have a chance that, then to go on a training camp and prove what they are worth. So if I look at uh, Willie Yarbarry's uh, stats, he played for Wake Forest for five years. He played for the Chargers. Didn't, didn't record one single stat according to the football database with the Chargers. He went on to play with Birmingham and win the championship. He had 16 solo tackles. He had assisted uh, 20, 21 assisted and tackles in total, 37 and 3.5 sacks. So it looks like the Birmingham, uh, you know, um, D-line consisted of those players. It consisted of uh, Yari Barra, and I think it was uh, this other fella, Tillman, and it was a Doug Cardi, uh, sorry, Doug Coston. So those three fellas from Birmingham Stallions who were the USFL champions um, may have a chance to be a stiller. Now, guys, what does it all mean for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Well, obviously, it doesn't overly mean too much. These are just guys that are trying out for the team to make the 90. They're trying out to make the 91st. Archie Bong is retired. He said, see you later. I can't play anymore. And that's fair enough. And not too many fans knew who Archie Bong was. I never saw him play a little bit. And he wasn't a, uh, you know, he wasn't a superstar. But these guys are trying to make the team. And if they make the team, they go into training camp. That 90 goes from 80. That 80 goes to, I think, 75 or 70. That 70 then goes from 70 to 53. So these guys could just be camp guys. But when you look at it in reality, these are five people trying out to make the team and trying to make a living for themselves. And you can't discount it for that. You could say they are the worst players. They're this, they're that, they're whatever. But in reality, these players are trying to make the team. And that to me is fantastic. Why not give them a shot? There is three USFL championships, uh, champion, champions in this squad of five. They went out there and got the hardware. That must mean something. They have the passion and drive to go out there and become something better. And hopefully something better than themselves. They can become better for the team, for the Steelers, and go out there and win. That's what we'd like to see, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That's a little mini breakdown of those five players. I wish them all the luck. Uh, I, I honestly don't care who makes it, but if one of those fellas makes the 90 and it has a chance to then improve themselves over training camp and then preseason games and get back into the NFL or the first shot in the NFL, then it's going to be very exciting. Then it's like this guy is, has made you know leaps and bounds to come, you know, back from the NFL to the USFL. And that's what the USFL is there for, is to give them another shot to show them, to show NFL scouts their craft. And if these players don't make the Steelers squad, maybe one of the other 31 teams might pick them up. Or they may, they may play next year in the USFL and have a big chance to go back-to-back -back you know, championship win. So thanks, guys, for checking out Steelers Nation Australia. Hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you next time.